men's 400 individual medley. Brendan Smith of Australia will start in lane five here. The bronze medalist from Tokyo, probably the favourite of the three Australians, but Lewis Clairbert of New Zealand. Lane four, maybe the one to beat here, Thorpey. Yeah, Lewis Clairbert is, is in form. Uh, we know that he swum really well at the very recent World Championships. Uh, when we go back to uh, the Commonwealth Games in, on the Gold Coast, there was also the Scott um, Mark Sa Sa Saz -René. Um I'll get that right. But he was one place just in front of where Lewis Clairbert was. But Brendan Smith is also swimming well. He was the bronze medalist in Tokyo. Tokyo. Um, and he went in as the second fastest qualifier. Duncan Scott's going to start in lane one here. And, well, already we've seen him tonight with a massive swim in that final with Elijah Winnington. He was the silver medalist in the men's 200 free in Tokyo and went one better here, turned the tables on Tom Dean. That's right. So it's not only Duncan Scott. The other one is uh, that is also swum uh, tonight in the 200 metres freestyle is uh, Matthew Sates from South Africa in lane three. Huge program for him. Six individual swims. He's uh, listed to be a part of four relay teams, only 19 years of age, and yet already been in a final tonight. Duncan Scott has won a final tonight. It is in his second final. There's not many people that know about that. We know Emma McKeon does, Thorpe, you have lots of times done that. How difficult is it mentally to celebrate in one and then get ready for the next one very quickly? Well, there was a comment that we were here, I heard earlier from um, from Shervo um, that was saying that Emma McKeon always looks like she's looking at what the next race is as uh, we see Mark Saranek come out from Scotland. And she always is. If you're doing a multi-event uh, in each day and you have across an entire program where you have to be able to get back up. Duncan Scott, both the Scots on the outside lanes. You have to be able to get yourself up for the next race. You have to think about how you're going to recover for the next one. Sivon Lee walks out. And I think the Australians being able to, to get into this final as well, and all three of them being in there, and quite a young Australian team, um, that can come out of this, uh, and this is kind of the birthplace for them of what their new careers are going to look like, how they'll shape when we look at coming into the Olympic Games in two years' time. There's a calmness about Emma McKeon, you know, talking about backing up from one race to the next. There's a calmness about Emma that you also had, Thorpey. You know, it, it does seem like, you know, she tries to conserve energy, doesn't allow the adrenaline to build up too much from one race to the next. Otherwise, you expend too much energy in things that are not racing. So this is Brendan Smith, so probably the favourite out of the Australians, um, who will be up next to the New Zealander, Lewis Clare. But, but, you know, how I looked at it, or how I used to consider it, is all of that energy that you can expend in kind of emotional energy, um, you know, it comes at a cost. And if you allow that to happen, you, you, you have to be able to celebrate. And I tell everyone to celebrate more when they actually make these achievements. Uh, but when you are an athlete, you are always thinking of what's next, whether it's a swim down, whether it's recovering from the next race, whether it's going to get massage, doing anti-doping, or if it's the next competition or the next season, it's always what is next. Um, and I think that balance that you need to get to get the satisfaction from your sport is, is important as well. Um, and we're starting to work that out. Brendan Smith's moved since Tokyo up to Michael Bowles' program. He has an amazing freestyle leg, so very excited to see what he can produce here in the new program. Well, let's hope he can bring it home. So Brendan Smith in lane five, the bronze medalist from Tokyo. Kieran Pollard, lane two, 23-year-old, WA-based, and Seabom Lee, lane seven, the 21-year-old. There's our favourite, Lewis Clairbert, the New Zealander. 23-year-old, he won bronze in this event as an 18-year-old on the Gold Coast. So away we go. It is one of the most gruelling events. The men's 400 individual medley, butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke and freestyle to bring it home. The Aussies not amongst the very quickest off the blocks. Lewis Clairbert and Matthew Sates lanes four and three. Now starting to push through is Brendan Smith. So the bronze medalist from Tokyo, not letting them get too far away down the first 50, sitting in third spot. 
is sitting in third, looking at the underwater work that he's doing there, trying to stay with them, obviously. But Clairbert's flow that he has over the water, he looks as though he's almost skipping across, breathing every stroke, making sure he doesn't have any level of oxygen depletion whatsoever. We'll come into the backstroke leg. Backstroke is the stroke that you really try and do as efficiently as possible because the breaststroke leg is arguably the most critical in this race, uh, which does take up uh, a lot of energy because you have to change from one stroke uh, to the next stroke. We call that the transition from stroke to stroke. It actually means that uh, that lactic acid that you've started to build up will go to a different part of your body. On that changeover, Brendan Smith in third, but pushing right up now, second and challenging for the lead. Seabom Lee back in sixth spot and Kieran Pollard in lane two. Probably seventh at the moment, just off the pace. Brendan Smith might be, he's got good underwater work. Not as long off that turn as what he was off the previous turn, where he, he did make up quite a bit of distance. He's sitting in a nice place, just on the hip of uh, Clairbert here. And if, if you're in that position, you get a little bit of drag off someone. Um, actually, it's like, you know, motorsports, that there is drag involved. And as we look through for the Australians and, and where they're kind of positioning themselves, we have Seabon Lee that's uh, in a great position to look at uh, being in a third place, bringing in a medal here. And Duncan Scott backing it up, lane one, top of the screen. He's in third position and challenging. So, Brendan Smith. Oh, this is going to be a fantastic finish to this race. Seabom Lee, this is his stroke. He's also got great underwater work, so we'll see if he can move up. Brendan Smith has an unbelievable freestyle, so he'll expect him to bring it home hard. You can see he's trying to sit on the lane rope, trying to get a little bit of drag from Lewis Clairbert as we go into the second lap of the breaststroke. So of the two Australians, almost the opposite. So one has a stronger breaststroke leg, one has a stronger freestyle leg. When we uh, look at Karen Pollard and Seabom Lee, Seabom Lee, the breaststroker, uh, but look, it, it, it is in the middle. It is going to be Brendan Smith up against Lewis Clairbert. He's going to have to find something a little bit more because Duncan Scott is also coming through. Yeah, the 200 freestyle gold medalist on this program tonight. He swum a mighty race in lane one, right of the screen at the moment. Now the top of the screen, the white cap. He's in third position and Seabom Lee back in fourth. So they turn for home. Lewis Clairbert, the New Zealander, he's the leader. It's Brendan Smith. The 22-year-old in second position and Duncan Scott, top of the screen, white cap, he's third and chasing. And this is where they'll really start to feel the lactic acid build up. Breaststroke, such a leg dominant stroke, but look at Brendan Smith's kick. He's brought in the big six-speed six kick. He's trying to gain on Lewis Clairbert. Duncan Scott might be fatigued from that other race coming into this, but he can do a 400 as well. He's 200 metres swimmer. So this is going to be hard for, um, this is going to be very hard for Brennan Smith. Can't see what uh, what is happening on the other side of the pool with Duncan Scott. Claire Bird, it is in front. Claire Bird out by about a body length. Duncan Scott's the challenge. Brendan Smith pushing up. Not sure that he can get there. Trying to hang on to the silver medal. Duncan Scott, a phenomenal swim in lane one. It's a Kiwi gold medal in a games record time. Well done to Lewis Claire Burton. Brendan Smith, bronze in Tokyo, silver in Birmingham. And what a great performance by Duncan Scott, the 200 free gold medalist gets bronze in the 400 IM. And not only a championship record, it was also the Commonwealth Games record for him. So the difference between the two of them, Commonwealth Games record, records, or the Games record, championship record has to be done at a Commonwealth Games. This is for all of the Commonwealth countries to break a Commonwealth record. So well done to him, and also well done to Brendan Smith being able to come through and secure that silver medal. Seabom Lee fifth and Kieran Pollard sixth. So the Aussies, three of them in that final. Silver medal, fifth and sixth. What a great race it was across the pool. Fascinating stuff. Butterfly backstroke, breaststroke and freestyle. And to Duncan Scott, what a big program and a credit to him. He swam so magnificently. So difficult to back up from winning gold in the 200 freestyle to then a 400 individual medley. Arguably the hardest event on the program. But what an unbelievable swim by Lewis Clairbert. Brendan Smith's freestyle was amazing. That's where we see his trademark move. He's got a huge six-speed kick. 
I expected him to gain on Lewis Clairbert, but he was just too strong. And to be able to have that kind of reaction, he wasn't even completely spent, it didn't look like. <laughs> Wonderful to see New Zealand winning another gold. They, Sophie Pascoe won a gold in the S9 Women's 100 Freestyle. We saw her alongside Ellie Cole in what was a beautiful reaction and incredible to win in a game's record time. So the three Aussies in that final, second, fifth and sixth. Well done, Brendan Smith.